IoT demo uh, as using Zephyr? Yes. Yeah. Uh, doing the doing the demo with the master board, which is the ARM subsystem. It's based on Codex M So you have this right here. Yes. Um, so M twenty three. Yes, it's based on M33. 33? Yeah, it's with the TFM in secure, with Zephyr in non secure. Which chipset is that? Is that a. Um, ARM Master. Uh, by who? By ARM. ARM? Yes, so this is the ARM subsystem chip. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a testing chip or whatever? Yes, it's, yeah? uh, it's the IoT, the ARM IoT board. Uh, yeah. It's the Master Revision A, and it is based on the SSC200 uh, subsystem, so which supports security extension. So uh, this has a secure element? Yes. And uh, what is this PSA? Uh, uh, it's an implementation of PSA. It's an yeah. uh, ARM specific subsystem. Secure architecture? Yes, yes, exactly. It has an Intel Connect, it has a secure processor, and it's just a reference design on uh, intended to show how to to build a, a system, a VTM system. So uh, right here you connected to the Google Cloud Platform. Yes. And uh, it's basically the Google page. It shows how many requests every second. Yeah. Uh, currently we do only have one device connected to Google Cloud. It will update the schedules and, and, and update the configurations from the Google server. So we can see the data request. Here, there, here. What, what is the NSPE? There's a non-secure environment. Non-secure processing environment. So, it's, it's running basically IoT client, client from Google and never out of. Alright. Because the firmware will run in a secure environment. And uh, so what's the role of Linaro? What's the role of Zephyr in this? What's the role of ARM? Zephyr is acting as the non-secure uh, operating system, which is running the application, a typical uh, uh, customer application. Uh, so it needs to talk to the Google backend, and in order to do so, it needs to authenticate on top of the LS to identify that I'm this device that I'm authorized to talk to Google. Uh, and the, the role of TFM is to actually protect the private information and hide them from the non-secure system. So in the case that non the non-secure operating system is uh, compromised, it will not expose uh, sensitive keys. So the TFM is uh, using a secure storage service to store the, the key required for encryption. And when Zephyr needs to talk to the backend, it will, make a sec uh, it will prepare a token, it will give it to the secure uh, firmware to TFM, which will sign it, will digitally sign it, uh, and then it will return it back to Zephyr to establish a connection. All right. So, um, uh, and, uh, this is an M33, which has a secure element. What else is new with this new chipset? Has other new things that are great? The ARM, ARM V8M, right? Yes. Yes, there will be a subsequent version, there will be a subsequent version of this uh, part but not released yet. Some, some more stuff, and uh, the, the chips are coming. There yes, are some chips yes, already yes. on the way from many different companies, right? The, yes. Yeah. I'm not I'm not quite uh, certain on the roadmap, both but... Maybe both other companies and ARM will also have a new chip. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Partners will probably want to announce their own chipset solutions. Uh, we're not aware of uh, those type of business decisions, to be honest. But if you want to do hardware security, you should be looking into something like that. Mm -hmm.